And they were not really, as he represented, alone from himself or, or from other people. That could be both a false statement and also a campaign finance violation. So we'll find out soon enough. But uh, that is the uh, a serious place where observers are watching. You're absolutely right. Does this put, Gloria, new pressure on the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, to take some action against Santos? It might. But I doubt that uh, he'll respond to that kind of pressure uh, at this point. Look, uh, uh, this is uh, if Santos were, say, to be forced to resign, you'd have to hold a special election. You hold a special election, the Republicans could lose the seat very easily. And if Republicans were to lose the seat, Speaker McCarthy's margin gets even smaller. And that's something he does not want. That is why he's never talked about Santos resigning when Republicans in New York state were talking about Santos resigning. That's why McCarthy hasn't touched it. So we have to watch and see what McCarthy does. But my bet is, you know, his margin is so slim that he's not going to force Santos to do anything because he doesn't want that special election. Yeah, he certainly does.